what is the one maybe perception that you had about Rahul Gandhi that having walked with him, you have changed your mind about? It could be that Rahul Gandhi has changed and your earlier perception was correct. Or it could be that you were wrong because you didn't know him better. Uh, so I'm curious to understand that dynamic. Is there something that surprised you? Is there something you found yourself thinking, oh, maybe I had that wrong? Uh, as I said, two things surprised me, his tenacity and his uh, temperament. Uh, about his sincerity and seriousness, I never had any doubts. But his tenacity and temperament surprised me. And one thing that I discovered, I, I, you know, I've sort of known him, but I've never known him quite intimately, nor do I know him intimately now. You know, uh, so it's a it's a very limited kind of uh, interaction, which is more about ideas, because he's a cerebral person. So he's sort of he's into intellectual discussions and ideas and politics. I don't know him intimately, but you know, it's only in this yatra that I have discovered what I would describe as a spiritual side to him. Uh, there's, uh, and I've always believed that in politics, only two kinds of people survive: uh, those who have unlimited obscene ambition and those who have a spiritual anchorage. In this yatra, watching him over the days, uh, evolving, connecting, relating, I saw a certain uh, spiritual depth to him. Sometimes there, there, there's spiritual anchorage. Uh, you know, uh, he's, not, he's not power hungry. I almost used to think that's, that's a fault. His, his, uh, his not being connected, he's not being, I mean, you don't have a, lust for power, that's all right. But you have a duty to have a will to power. And I almost thought that he doesn't have that. And I've sort of held it against him. Uh, in this yatra, I've discovered that there's a uh, somewhat spiritual side to him. I don't know if he calls it spiritual, probably not. But you know, uh, when you go beyond everyday calculations of power, gains and losses, and look at the big picture ahead and look at the big picture within, that is what I call spiritual. Uh, I saw that in him. And surprises for this yatra for me. 